In the last episode of E-Bikes Explained, we talked about what to look for in an e-bike when you're purchasing, what to avoid, the history of e-bikes, and some basic components. When purchasing a new bike, a lot of people can rush through that process and end up with a bike-shaped object. Those tend to require a lot of maintenance and are downright uncomfortable to use. And at Curbside, we want to change that. We want to show people that when shopping for a bike, research is critical to a successful experience, especially when you're looking for a bike as a car replacement. So join us on today's episode, choosing the right e-cargo bike for your lifestyle. So we talk a lot about cars in our videos, but there's a good reason for that. They surround us in our day-to-day -day life, they fill up our streets, and they can be really disruptive. We're also taught from a really young age that if you want to get around, especially if you're growing up in a suburb or a more rural area, that a car is the only option. However, if you live in an urban center like Toronto, you're probably seeing a big shift in the way that we get around the city. Everywhere you go, pre-existing bike lanes and infrastructure are being upgraded, more lanes are popping up, and we're seeing a lot more cyclists on the road. But for many, the question still looms. How can I make dropping off my kids at daycare or my weekly grocery runs or errands, how can I make that more efficient? The answer is getting simple with every passing year, the e-cargo bike. The cargo bike has actually been around for over 100 years now. And as a personal vehicle, it's only gotten better, safer, and more sophisticated. So while it might not be the go-to bike for every situation, it has been proven that it can handle anything that a car or even small van can. So a lot of people coming into curbside now are families looking for alternative ways to transport their kids to school or to daycare. So in many cases, especially in urban centers, the commute to school might actually be quite short, but the streets are so jam-packed with other people doing exactly the same that it takes twice as long to get where you're going. There's no actual reason to sit in traffic, especially if there are bike lanes along your route. Oftentimes you can ride straight up to the schoolyard gate or even the main doors. Everyone hops out immediately and already you're on your way to run errands or go to work, just like that. So one of the most fun parts of buying a cargo bike, uh, at least in our opinion, is figuring out what's going to best fit your needs. If you know your family won't get much larger than one or two kids, you can opt for a more compact two-wheel cargo bike. Or if you have a larger family, like three to four kids, you can opt for a more spacious three-wheel cargo bike. That offers a ton more room with dedicated seats for each kid, the family dog, even some room to throw in groceries. If you're interested in learning more about two-wheel versus three-wheel cargo bikes, we've created a great video to help you decide what your best option is. Link in the description below. So by now you might be wondering, what are my options and why would I choose to go with an electric assist cargo bike? So we consider the switch from a car to an electric cargo bike as kind of a major lifestyle change and it requires the same amount of attention to detail that you would have purchasing a new car. So as we mentioned earlier, a cargo bike can do just about anything that a car can do, especially thanks to new advancements in motor and battery technology. If you're someone who doesn't believe in e-bikes and thinks that all biking should be human powered, just hear us out. So while the lightest cargo bike on the market can be as low as 60 pounds, once you add kids, dogs, groceries, even work equipment to that, the effort to get moving increases substantially. So once you're freed from the weight of that, a whole new range of uses can open up for the cargo bike. If you're all about the struggle of a non-electric bike, we totally get it. But hear us out when we say that an electric cargo bike can be really life-changing and a really fun experience. So obviously when choosing an electric cargo bike, you wanna look for a good quality electrical system. Most cargo bike manufacturers are going to use the most powerful e-assist systems out there. So an extremely popular brand that you'll see on a lot of our cargo bikes is the Bosch e-bike system. Bosch actually creates a motor line specifically for the use of cargo bikes called, very aptly, the cargo line. So the cargo line offers really powerful torque of up to 85 Newton meters. So this is really important and really useful to get you moving quickly up hills and get your fully loaded cargo bike moving smoothly from a standstill. The Bosch system is actually one of the only ones that offers a dual battery configuration. So this is especially useful if you're someone with a longer commute or you're intending to use the bike for longer weekend adventures. 
So other brands we carry also feature Yamaha or Shimano e-bike systems. Although it's important to note that those systems don't offer dual battery configurations, but you can always bring a spare battery along. So the best part of all three motor systems, and one of our favorite parts, is that they're backed by manufacturers in most bike shops. This means should your bike need any service, replacement parts for either broken or defective components are really readily available. This is huge as a lot of those bike-shaped objects we talked about end up in landfills after only a year or two because they're impossible to fix. So something else that we recommend looking at when shopping for the most efficient e-cargo bike is the drivetrain. Unless you're traveling cross country and need really accessible parts like chains or cassettes, we highly recommend and are big fans of the internal gear hub and belt drive. An internal gear hub and belt drive go a long way, especially when it comes to the stresses that are particular to a cargo bike. So with an internal gear hub, as is kind of obvious with the name, the gears are sealed in a hub in the rear wheel. This really helps to keep out dirt, grime, snow, salt, anything, and keep your gears moving smoothly. Best of all, the technology has advanced so much that they can now offer incredible ranges, like up to 14 gears, and some even shift automatically with electronic shifting. If you're looking for the absolute cream of the crop, some of the best internal hubs on the market are developed by Shimano, Roloff, and Mviolo. As you may already know, most bikes utilize chains to get moving, but with chains, they can wear out extremely quickly and they often get oil on your clothes and your skin. Bike chains also need to be regularly oiled in order for them not to rust. As an alternative, belt drives have really gained popularity as they require virtually no maintenance and can last up to 60,000 kilometers. That's versus the chain, which only tends to last a couple thousand. Best of all, with the belt drive, there's absolutely no oil needed. E-cargo bikes vary greatly from manufacturer to manufacturer. However, what we've discussed in this video hopefully gives you some basics and a good springing off point to help figure out what e-cargo bike will best fit your lifestyle. Thanks for watching this video, and if you found it helpful, please give us a like and subscribe for more content.